Hey guys, how's it going? It's me and Avery today doing this video because dad's on babysitting duty and she also loves the fish so it works out great. But I figured today I would shoot a new video on black skirt tetras and I know I have a video with a couple hundred thousand views that's like four years old but I'm super disappointed uh, in the quality of some of the things I said and it's just not all that great. And I figured uh, what what not better to do a better video. So um, without further ado, the Black Skirt Tetra is a super popular Tetra. I would say it's probably the most popular Tetra, maybe the Neon Tetra beating it out. Uh, the Neon Tetra is a pretty tough fish to actually keep and a lot of people find out the hard way because they kill them and black skirt tetras are a lot hardier in my opinion. But uh, let's show you guys a black skirt tetra. This is uh, my one of my community tanks and there's a bunch of black skirt tetras in here. You can see them, they kind of have the fan tail, veil tail, whatever you want to call it. And uh, they also have the white, white skirt tetra, but, um, and I just did a video on those the other day. Um, those are black skirts. Here's one right in front here. And I'll do a zoom in video at, at the end when I'm done talking about how to care for them. Uh, what I do with uh, Tetras and my a lot of my silver dollars is I'll split up the tank in the lighting. I'll have like half the tank dark and half the tank lighted because a lot of people don't know this, but they are really skittish fish. And the Tetra and silver dollars are closely related, same with the piranhas and they're all super skittish fish. There's no way around it. If you walk by the tank or if you do something new, they'll just, they start just uh, spazzing out and bolting everywhere. You'll commonly see them run into the tank wall, uh, damage their mouths, damage parts of their body. It's actually quite sad when I see them do that because you know, a, a person takes blame for doing that kind of stuff, you know? Uh, and I think by having the tank dark, it really helps the fish. You know, when these fish, uh, if you watch them, if they start to get scared, they all bolt over here to the dark side. And it kind of gives them that security um, that they can go hide. And that also brings me up to say that hiding spots is a huge deal. I commonly use a lot of black pipes. You can't really see them. Uh, let me get in the tank here. See if you guys can see in there. There's a black pipe back there. There's another black pipe. The black pipes, you don't have to use them. I just use them because they're cheap and uh, decorative caves are really expensive at pet stores and stuff. And I just can't afford to be buying all those expensive caves. So I literally go to the plumbing store and buy the black pipes. If you're wondering, they're called ABS black pipes. I usually buy like three inch. Here's a good example. Uh, I'm getting kind of on a tangent. There's a black pipe. Here's a big black pipe. Um, fish really enjoy hiding and when fish can't hide or when they don't feel secure they get sick and sick fish die and tetras are no exception they need to feel secure and that's where schooling them up also helps them feel secure so um, let's just go through the general care um, tropical fish obviously community fish you're gonna need a heater keep it at 78 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit obviously but i'm just stating it for if you're to that level of fish keeping so um minimum tank size i would say 20 gallon minimum you could probably keep five of them but i highly advise just getting a decent sized tank a 55 gallon and set up a community tank because they're awesome community fish um tank mates uh any anything that's uh you know what's the word I'm looking for? Semi-aggressive. That's what PetSmart would tell you. Uh, the only problem you're going to have with Tetras is nipping at each other. Um, they commonly will do fin nipping at each other to figure out the hierarchy of their school. And uh, once they figure it out, it'll end. Sometimes you might have an issue. Uh, you might have to take out a Tetra, maybe not, bring it back to the fish store, etc. But, um, these are really basic fish to keep, clean water, uh, get a water changer, get a decent filter, a filter that you can uh, change 
uh, that you can rinse out the filter pad. If you, if you throw away your filter pads and buy new ones, it's not a good filter. Um, if you have questions on a filter, a good filter, uh, AquaClear 110 is one of the best. Okay, I'll throw a link in the description box to all these products. If I talk about any of them and you don't know what they are, there'll be links in the description box. Okay, so um, what else is there? Nutrition, they are omnivores, very opportunistic feeders. Tetras are not gonna be picky. Uh, variation is the key. I like to use these Fluval Bug Bites. Uh, these are kind of the new craze right now. Uh, I'll throw a link in the description box. I also use a lot of Omega-1 Flakes, small cichlid pellets. Um, quality brands is huge with food. I preach this and preach this. Um, two things you gotta be weary of of Tetras, the biggest, two biggest things you gotta worry about. Acclimating them to your new tank and when you do water changes, uh, make sure the water temperature isn't changing too drastically because they are very prone to disease and getting sick if the water temp is drastically changing. I'm gonna flip the cam now and show you guys some uh, uh, close-ups if I can try to get some of these Tetras. Avery, what do you think? It's time for close-ups, guys. It's time for close-ups. Hmm. All right, so here's my 75 gallon again. And there's a nice one right there, right in front here, giving us a shot. You will notice that if you give them uh, some time to kind of get used to your tank and feed them really good foods and do some good water changes, that they'll really color up and you'll really notice those tails start to grow. And I have noticed that there is long finned black skirts and short finned. So it's really just kind of a matter of what you want. Most of mine are long finned. I tend to like that, but I have heard people having issues with fin nipping more with, between the tetras. But yeah, these are beautiful fish, easy to take care of. What's cool is you can usually keep all the tetras together in a community tank. As you see here, I have silver dollars, jewels. Um, there's tons of tank mates with these guys because they're semi-aggressive and get along with tons of fish. All right, cool guys. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll do videos on them.